How's it going, YouTube? So, as you guys know, I bought this car a little while ago. Lost the keys. Finally found them. So, I've got a set here and then the rest in the house put up. So, if I lose them again. But they're on with every other key I've got. So, we're good. Um, I'm going to do a full review on it today. But first, let's do a cold start. It hasn't been ran in a couple days. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know where the hell to set my phone. There's fucking snow everywhere. I hate this snow already. It's fucking January or October 30th and it's already snowed. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that's how cold it is. Okay, so I think it took a bit to start because it's cold, but it's also pretty well out of gas. I took the gas out of it and put it in the Tahoe for work and stuff, so um, it runs good, you know. 207,000, looking at the car. How the hell has it got 207,000? I'm the third owner of it, so, you know, that's that's good. Get the window down. Go and shut it because, it's, or shut it off, it's almost out of gas, so. Go on the exterior. You guys know how I do my reviews. So that's a little dirt. It's really clean. Got icicles all over, you know, whatever. But this car has one. It's a 1995 SE Grand Prix, so it's got the 3.1 in it. It has one rust spot right there. And that's all surface, it's not even hold. So I could grind that off and repaint it and be fine. Or sand it off, not grind it. So I do have to agree. Some oh, to a full extent, or to a certain extent, about how ugly this car is. My friends seen it, they say it's the ugliest piece of shit out there. Okay. I do agree the front end is a little ugly. It's a 1995. Of course, it's going to be a little ugly, and that's not and that's nothing on the 95s cars anywhere. It's just it's old. Designs were different back then than they are, you know, 95 versus 2000. Got some all right tires on it. I've got some Impala wheels I'm putting on it. Needs an antenna. I don't even know what the fuck happened there. <laughs> so they got ripped off. Got some weird but cool tail lights. Deflectors down here. This one's got dual exhaust as well. It's actually the same exhaust that's on my sisters, so Where are the they won't work. I've I the Camaro tips I was looking at, they're both left-sided tips. It's not a set. Oh. Hi, Jacob. So yeah, their tires are all right. They got some really great tread on them. Except the front. Somebody's been doing burnouts in it. Oh, I don't know. I haven't done one burnout in it yet. 
Got a home part here, I haven't drove it. Um, no, I lost the keys yesterday, or the other day. I found them. I found them. <laughs> Go ahead and show you the, in the engine compartment here. Oh, that was frozen shut. Thank you, icicles. Same with the engine. Really, really clean. Looks like a brand new alternator. Maybe not. I'm not sure. So this car. Little history on this car. Guy bought it brand new. I don't know much about him. I don't know anything about him actually. The guy bought, you know, had it I guess up to 2015 where the guy, another, where it was sold. And so the guy bought this from, bought it brand, or bought it in 2015 from the original owner. You know, not perfect or ding there. You know, missing antenna and a ding on the trunk. That's it. No rust. So that's surface rust right here. Probably original gas cap. Thing I do like with these. The whole front end lights up. Now, he told me that the, this light here and this light here are out. Those are actually the fog lights. And I don't think they come on unless the key's on. Yeah, because the switch is on. So let me go ahead and get it started again. And they're not working. That one doesn't. Came on. Nope. So I believe that it's burned out. So what's going to happen is the, these are 905, 906, 905, same as the Tahoe, 905, 906. Not sure on these, but this whole front end is getting LEDs. And you can hear that little whine. That's the transmission. Sounds really good at the exhaust though. Same with the rear. This is your brake light, but this whole strip lights up. Then you got your turn signals and your reverse lights up here. And then the third brake light. Great shape, it really is. Go ahead and do the interior. As I said, it's an SE. It's got that th smaller engine. Not n not even close to as powerful as hers. <laughs> but I got to say, whoever had this car brand new took care of it. There is not one rip, not one crack that I've seen right off the bat. It is missing the cover for that. Again, this is going to get a fully LED'd interior. Um, my plans for this is I want to leave it as much original as I can. So maybe I will keep the wheels on it. Maybe I'll put the brand new tires and wheels on it. I want it. So the tires, so the wheels I would be putting on it are the ones that came off my 99 Regal, my 99 Buick. Uh, that had shit tires my parents, you know, I gave the regal to them They put brand new tires on it Pontiac went out so they gave me the Buick back I don't know So Pontiac didn't go out. It just had some problems 
so I gave it back, or you know, so they gave me the Buick back. So I had the Pontiac and the Buick, joined them all. They both needed some pretty good work. So, um, you know, there's some wearing on the floor mat, but that's it's got to be the original floor mat because if you lift this up, there's you know, there's stains. It, it's a car, you know, people drink and eat and stuff in them. If you look at these pedals, yeah, there's some wear here and wear here, but you know, that's it. It's got the second gear start, which I guess is supposed to be better for traction in the snow. Um, when you have it in first gear, you know, most, mostly all, you know, all of the torque is applied to the wheels, and so it just goes. If you put it in second gear, it's not got as much torque, so you get more traction in snow and slippery conditions. Go ahead and sit in here. Like I was saying, I want to leave this car as original as possible, but at the same time, stuff's going to be done to it. You know, I, I'm not going to go fully, like, what I mean by original is the headlights. I'm not going to get tinted headlights like my Tahoe has. No tinted tail lights. Yes, it's going to get LEDs, but that's just, that's just my thing. Um, it'll be nicer in here. I don't even think these come. Oh, it is a dome light right there, but it's blown out Thank you. Yeah, oh Spider webs man. Ooh, perfect. I can put the LEDs up here. Usually these are either 194s or so smaller It's nice that every single one is Like the 569s or whatever they are it looks like you do have why is that in the carpet that's gonna those get hot 194 there why is that underneath the carpet that's weird if i can pop this cover back on we'll be good there we go better put the back in first son of a bitch it came off way too easy Hold on. Okay, I got that back on. So those do work. That's not working. There we go. Like I said, you know, these are a really great shape here. The old shit handles are still good. I just noticed some dirty shit up there on the roof. Got a breaker bar. That's just because I was breaking bolts off of the Tahoe to get that exhaust fixed. It's got pretty much the same shifter as my sister's. Ashtray. You got your compartment here. Your cigarette lighters up here. Aftermarket stereo um, setup. And he actually gave me this wiring harness so I could put a stereo in here. But I was looking at the wiring harness. Does that not latch down? Oh, you have to. Um, okay. But it's the same as the Tahoe and stuff. So it's good. Like I said, 207,000 miles on it. So, so, like I said, it's got, been really taken care of a lot because it's super clean for that many miles. Same steering wheel as my sister's. The only difference is hers says Pontiac across here. This has the logo, which I kind of like the logo a little better. Again, it's got your, you know, your volume controls and stuff for your stock stereo. Uh, I put an aftermarket one in. They don't work. That's just how it is. It's fine. Horn works. AC and heat. Oh, that's one thing I'm going to check too is he's because he said that the heat and AC worked so that'll be good to see the back here same thing super clean no rips in the interior no rips in the seats there's a leaf in here how the fuck did that get in here um another thing I forgot to say is up here right there there's cup holders in the door panel and then you got your cup holder back here uh no you don't 
cigarette ashtray right there. You got little nets here. How the hell? There's no cup holders for the back, huh? Yeah. I think it was my 96 Grand Am that this actually folded all the way back and had cup holders in it. I actually can't remember what car that was now. I don't think it was the Grand Am. It actually might have been my Tudor Grand Prix. I can't remember. It may not have even been one of my Pontiacs. It's got this easy... Lot. I like this style a lot better than what's in my sister's car because hers has the lock cylinder there. And my fucking camera's disgustingly f dusty. There you go. So my sister's car has... It's a lock here. You have to put the key in, turn the lock, and before it'll open... This one I like, you just open it. Um, because with hers, since hers has new key. Um, so her door handles, which you can't see because the sun's glaring on. Her door handles and her ignition switch. Um, so when she got the car, it had no keys. So her door handles are off of my car. Off of my two-door. Her trunk is off of my two-door. Her hood is off of my two-door. The ignition was brand new. So, with that, like that, she can access her trunk and her, uh, unlock it with the key from my old car. But she cannot open her glove box, or shut, lock the glove box, I should say, or open her, open this in hers, because it's all off the original key, which we don't have. You know, I just realized I've had, we've had four Pontiacs. So my first Pontiac, which was my Grand Prix or my Grand Am, my 96, I paid a hundred bucks for it. I, I had that way before I started a YouTube channel. So that's why you guys never see it. I haven't seen it. Maybe if I could find a, a video, I mean a picture, I could post it up. Um, but I'm not sure. But that was a hundred bucks for my aunt, my Grand Prix. So she and then she bought this for two hundred. My Grand Prix was three fifty, and then this was two hundred. So we've had all of our cars have been under four hundred bucks. All of our Pontiacs, which of course licensing and stuff on mine, it was you know around four hundred. But got your fuse panels here, and then on the other side. Damn breaker bars in the way. Again, same thing with the floor panel here. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on here. I'm wondering if there's supposed to be a plastic piece over here. That because I know that's how it is in the Tahoe. This is in the plastic piece held up. It looks like it might have been right here and here, which there's nothing there. Oh, and I got a cigarette lighter and it seems what the fuck. There's supposed to be a cigarette lighter in there, but there's not. <laughs> or a 12 volt thing. Um, again, the back seat is just flawless. And I don't think these are the style of seats that fold down. Nah. I'm not sure when they came out with that, but yeah, whatever. Okay, oh. Oh, cool. Those are those big lights, too. I just realized that's broke. Is that what that lens in the glove box goes to? Son of a bitch. Oh, it's working now, though. Okay, so that's what's supposed to go there, I guess. But it looks like the clip right there is broke. So it's not attached. Which is no big deal. Okay, it does look like they've got an issue with the weather stripping. They've got electrical tape right here. Rednecks, okay. But that works. Blue seat belts or blue screen. 
There's only two problems with this cart, and it's the transmission filter, and then it has a valve cover gasket leak, which is notorious for these 3.8s and 3. Which is notorious for the 3.1 and the 3.8s. Which is what I had replaced on mine. Okay, I don't even know if they did it. I, I took mine in. Had the uh, recall done for the valve cover gasket. Got it back and it was worse. Then the other day I got a another recall in, uh, paper card. In the mail, it said that it wasn't done on my Grand Prix to take it and have it done for free. Broken zip tie. So, when, and I, I'm not sure how it works at a dealership, but I'm pretty sure when you have a recall and you do that recall at the dealership, you mark it down so that I don't get another paper. Obviously, they didn't. Down to the core. So it does have an, I'm not sure if it has a new ignition set up, or if this is the new ignition wires, spark plug wires. Okay, so those look like, they're open. Okay, so those are used. There's the new valve cover gasket right there. That's what I like. It's got the original spare. These are for covering the headlights, which I took out. So that I can get to the bulbs easier. So let's go ahead and look and see if those are brand new spark plug wires then. They look kind of look like they are. But... Why is there only two in the trunk? I have no clue. Oh, and another thing with these wipers, guys. Is that the old school? Style, and I'll show that to you. I can find the key. I got so many damn Chevy keys on this key ring now. Or GM keys. I got your car, my car, and my Tahoe on here. So it's got that old school. And it's had a washer fluid it seems like. And when I did get the car, I did have to clean the window because it was filthy. So it, I do know it will need wipers too. But That's what's weird. But those, brand new, right? those do, those have been used, so those are used ones. So they do have brand new ones in it. I just don't know where the hell the others are. And they go off the distribute cap. Mm, I don't know. Seven millimeter ultra, ultra heat protection. Those are the plastic ones. Those are the ones that will melt. Plastic. The They're rubbered. Those aren't even what we fixed on your car. They're wires. But they're ultra heat resistant wire. So they... I'm shutting this. Yeah, that's the gasket. So... <laughs> and they look newer. He may have put them in a while ago. I just left the box in because they do have some, you know, fading here. So I don't know what is going on. But that's all right. So let's go ahead, climb in, see if the heat works. Because that's one thing I do need to know. Because, as you can see, it's getting to become winter. So you're... you're here it wasn't working, it was low on antifreeze. I put my antifreeze in it and I don't know. I drove it from here to right there. And then back, so I don't know if it works or not. Yet. It used to, so I'd imagine it was just low on antifreeze. These are 
Oh yeah. Most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. Oh, mine are leather. Yeah, they're fucking shit seats. I hate those seats. I'm gonna get more seats. Let's go ahead and see if it works. All right, guys, here we are. We're actually driving the top the car real quick because I'm just going in the backyard for a minute. Don't feel like getting out and walking. Uh, and the one thing is, the guy did say it had brand new struts on it. On the back. They are the loudest. Fuck you, door. I hate... That's one thing we are... I don't like is the automatic locks, but I'm going to keep it. Yeah. No, for me, those won't work in yours. Again, you can hear that transmission. It's just what it is. So, it's just a loud ass transmission because of the filter and stuff and the fucking fluid was dark, dark black. It's getting warm. You just have to wait. The car's not even warmed up. Look at the engine temp. Okay, let's go back. Go ahead and see if we can get a burnout in here. Okay. Back up all the way to the fence. We're gonna put it down in the first gear. Now take that. Now I wanna show you exactly what the second gear start is because I don't even know. So we're in first. We're gonna go right here on the snow. Move that, please. I feel like it's gonna go through a window. Okay, so we're gonna put it down into drive because it starts out in first. I can't really tell. I think I believe it is spinning though. Okay, we'll go back into first again. So I'm pretty sure it is spinning. But it just don't sound like it, so I'm not sure if it's slick enough or not. Now, we're going to go into the second gear start. I have no clue. Well, I'll do. It's in second gear. It starts off in second gear. I'll put it down into second to show you, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. Get down in a, See, it's warming up. Slightly. Okay. So we're now going to back this back up. Um, now, there's a small fucking space for it, so... You gotta be really My motherfucking careful here. Forward. Move your head, you fat head. <laughs> I love you, sissy. Got plenty of room right here, though. Plenty of room. Does seem, yep, it is getting warm. Like I said, Kenzie, the engine's cold still, so it's gonna take a minute. So, they suck in winter. So, oh, come on, RPMs. That yeah, that's dad's. Thank you. No, I'll leave it in here for now. Because Dad knows it's in here. Because I was using it and then put it in here. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. So, again, it is a 1995 Grand Prix. You know. There's a lot of, you know, it's amazing though. The differences within five years of each other. If you look at this.
you know. The shifter's pretty much the same. The dashboard, pretty much the same, you know, your gauge cluster's really the same. Wait, does this have a heads up? You're, uh, no, it's too old for that. Oh. Not too old, it just, yeah. But, steering wheel's the same. You know, this is the same in all Chevys. My Tahoe's got the same switch. You know, this is pretty much all the same as hers. The shifter's the same. Yeah, this is pretty much all the same if hers if hers did have the analog. Hers has the digital dual climate control. So, oh. you know, there's a lot of things. like th These are pretty much, I think, My the same. Sporty, huh? Yeah, it's a GT. So, there's, there's a lot of similarities between the two Grand Prix here. And a lot of differences between the two. Oh, here's the biggest one being the body style. Now, not really, I mean, they're both still called the W body. It's just a different body style. Or, you know, upgraded body style. So, that's going to be it, guys. Have a good one.